today's how to this is a brand new thing basically it's the Amstrad how to video basically it, this video will tell you how to the basics of the Amstrad which will be which we shall start off with the, the basics right normally if you've got the Amstrad 464 when you want to load a tape you just type in run and you press shift 2 like that and that loads the tape up but because this is, an, because this is a 6128 I'm using it'll do this bad command so for the Amstrad 6128 if you've got a tape on there you just type in tape then you type in run and that's it you just press obviously because because we haven't got a tape on there so that's what you do but look at, and then you press play and you press any key obviously there and that's pretty much it now on the on the uh, Amstrad CPC 6128 they use these they use the 3 inch discs which I shall put on the uh, an image of one on the screen to show you how they work the difference is between the 3 and a quarter uh, 3 and a half inch discs they were very you know what I mean the, 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 these ones had the 3, in, three inch discs they had double sided so you had two programs you could load on there they hold on obviously a little bit more but same example you got a disc in you put the disc into the drive and I want to know what's on it to run so you put DIR oops wrong one if you make a mistake just do that interesting fact locomotive software wasn't like had the com it says they were Commodore they had Microsoft that created their their their, their screen like this programming. Locomotive Software Limited was Amstrad's own label uh, own software developer. Just jumping back on subject they're shifting the act key It. You find out what's on there, and you put shift in that and CPM. Obviously, they have not the right one, so you have to put run disk. This would like bring you the dem. Oh, Obviously, I'm using the wrong disc. Sorry about this, guys. Using the wrong disc. Really, I'm not with it today. Sorry, guys. CPM. That would load CPM up. This would like be the disk operating system. Obviously, bear in mind, guys, I've not used an Amstrad CPC 6128 in probably about, uh, probably about, how's it get? Probably about 15 odd years, but it doesn't fail you. So you put. DIR directory. If you ever wanted to copy a disk, you do this.
you can copy a disk, you press 7, you format it, you press 4, Vary to verify the disk, you press 1. But you, what you'd have to do first is when you copy the disk, you have to see, you have to then, once you've done that, you have to verify the disk. That's how you do it. And just. You have to use the function keys. Now that's where the function keys come into play on there, you see. You can't press any of the number keys on top. You have to use the function keys. To be honest with you, I think the Amstrad CPC 6128 was like, in my view, it was the earliest version of the PC. Because you look at the new keyboards, look at the keyboards now, they've got function keys at the top. And that's pretty much about it. You've got various things you can run here. SYS Gen. Oops. So I don't just do that, I can't remember what that was. Now if you type in AMSDOS, that'll take you back to basic again. Okay? That's Amstrad DOS. Disk operating system. Uh, PIP, I never understand what PIP was. Sorry. It's saying PIP1. Unlike uh, Windows, you'd have to type in .exe. I like this version of the like the, the CPM. You can just type the word in and it comes up. So I can just set up. That's how you update the system. That's pretty much it, guys. This was just looking through the CPM2 uh, boot menu. But we're going to do a look in the next video of the Amstrad How To. We're going to be looking at Dr. Logo, various programs.